in an extraordinary and rare turn of geological events. Two of the United States' most iconic geothermal regions, Yellowstone National Park's Geyser Basin and Hawaii's Kilauea Volcano, are currently undergoing simultaneous eruptive activity, prompting widespread scientific interest and public concern. Yellowstone's Geyser Basin Unprecedented thermal surge early Thursday morning, park rangers at Yellowstone National Park reported intense and sustained geyser activity far beyond the usual pattern seen in the Upper Geyser Basin, home to the famous Old Faithful. What began as sporadic steam bursts quickly escalated into a coordinated eruption of several geysers, including Steamboat and Giant Geyser, both of which released towering jets of superheated water and steam for hours. Scientists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO, detected a swarm of low-magnitude earthquakes in the area late Wednesday night, likely indicating underground hydrothermal movement. Though no magma has reached the surface, Geologists stress that the thermal system is highly active and volatile. Dr. Maria Ellis, a geophysicist with the U.S. Geological Survey, described the activity as a rare surge in hydrothermal energy, adding, there's no immediate sign of a magmatic eruption, but we are watching this incredibly closely. Yellowstone's plumbing system is complex and largely hidden. Kilauea Volcano, a familiar but intensifying force. Meanwhile, 3,500 miles away, Hawaii's Kilauea Volcano has entered a new phase of eruption. On Wednesday evening, lava fountains burst from vents along the eastern side of Halima'uma Crater, lighting up the sky above Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. This marks the third eruption in under a year for Kilauea, but volcanologists at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory note that this one appears to be more vigorous, with lava flows advancing rapidly toward the southwest rift zone. Evacuation orders have been issued for nearby communities, though no injuries or property damage have been reported as of Friday morning. The magma reservoir beneath Kilauea has been recharging steadily, said Dr. Leilani Kai, a volcanologist with the University of Hawaii. This eruption was not entirely unexpected, but the intensity of lava flow and gas emissions is higher than usual. Despite the coincidental timing, experts say the simultaneous activity is not connected. These systems are thousands of miles apart and operate independently, Dr. Ellis noted. But it does remind us of the dynamic forces always at work beneath the Earth's surface. Preparedness and public safety. Both the National Park Service and FEMA are coordinating emergency preparedness measures. Park areas near the geysers have been closed to visitors and flights over the region have been restricted due to ash and steam clouds. In Hawaii, shelters have been opened and emergency personnel are assisting with precautionary evacuations. 